Germany book their place in Qatar. Premier League club wants Dembele. Teenage Bayern target decides on his future. And a transfer roundup all coming up on today's One Football Daily News. As I'm your host, Angelina Kelly, let's get into it. Last night, the international fixtures did continue with the 2022 World Cup qualifications and Germany have become the first team to qualify for this World Cup as they got a 4-0 win over North Macedonia and the nation have now qualified for every World Cup since 1954 and they've done so with two games to spare. So despite the first half being quite tight at times, it was a great night for Chelsea duo Kai Havertz and Timo Werner. Havertz opened up the scoring for Germany thanks for a Thomas Muller pass and Werner managed to find the back of the net two times and he could have actually added more to his tally. And to finish things off, it was teenage sensation Jamal Musiala who managed to score their final goal. And I'm sure England fans will be kicking themselves as of course the player did play his youth football with England but has since switched to Germany. And in his ninth cap, he has managed to score his first goal, the first of what I think will be many. Meanwhile, it was a great night for the Netherlands and Memphis Depay who managed to score two goals in the nation's thrashing of Gibraltar 6-0 and what this means is that Louis van Gaal's team are still two points clear of Norway at the top of their group. Also on the score sheet was Virgil van Dijk who headed in a ninth minute corner to get the opening goal and the likes of Arnott Danjuma, Denzel Dumfries and Daniel Marlin were all on the score sheet and things are looking pretty good for the Netherlands post Euro 2020 as the team that managed to get 31 attempts at goal last night have now for the first time since October 2001 managed to score four goals or more in three consecutive home games. Elsewhere and Wales just managed to scrape past Estonia with a 1-0 win that to be honest was not very convincing considering Estonia are ranked 111th in the world, we should have seen a little bit better from Wales who were looking a little bit shaky in defence and for Estonia they did actually have quite a few chances. In their group it seems like Belgium will be going through at the top of the table, the Czech Republic are currently in second on goal difference and it's going to be a very tight call to see if Wales can jump above Czech Republic to finish in that second spot and basically their World Cup fate is now in their hands. And tonight the qualifiers will continue, some of the games being England against Hungary, Portugal will host Luxembourg and Denmark will face Austria. So next up and according to Mundo Deportivo, Liverpool are putting the wheels in motion to bring Usman Dembele to the club next summer. Now, of course, the Barcelona player does have a contract until June 2022. And although negotiations have allegedly been underway, the club are reportedly a little bit concerned as to what his agent has been doing, as they reportedly claim that he has maybe been speaking to other clubs about trying to get the player to leave on a free in the summer rather than renewing with the Catalan side. As long as the French forward does not renew, there are bound to be suitors for him left, right and centre across Europe and quite a few rumours and it seems like Liverpool are pretty strong contenders although these rumours have been met with quite a bit of a mixed response from fans. On one hand the player is expensive if Liverpool do sign him on a free great but his wages are still going to be pretty steep and then of course you've got the injuries since his arrival in Barcelona back in 2017 the player has reportedly missed 96 games due to injuries he's had three different hamstring problems and currently this year he hasn't even played since Euro 2020 due to another injury and what this means is that because because he is so injury prone, Liverpool fans are reportedly a little bit confused as to why the club would want a player that could be out for spells at a time. And in addition, he is a winger. And when you look at Liverpool on their roster, they do seem to have that area of the pitch covered. Of course, there is Mo Salah, absolutely world class. Although there have been rumours that potentially the club may not be able to come to an agreement about his next contract. But with or without Salah, they still have the likes of Sadio Mane, Harvey Elliott when he does come back from injury, Diego Jota, Takumi Minamino, etc. So yeah, they have that area of the pitch covered really. However, there is a reason why Barcelona paid 105 million euros plus reportedly 40 million euros of add-ons for the player. He does have bags of potential and on his day, he is extremely talented with great pace and ability. And he definitely would fit into the mould of what Jurgen Klopp expects from his wide forwards. And reportedly, it is the manager that is very much intrigued by Dembele as he reportedly is a massive, massive fan of the player and has already spoken to the club about sorting out the financial situations that they need to so that they are in a prime position to sign the player as he has reportedly regarded him as a priority. However, the player does have options. Thomas Tuchel is apparently a big fan. The likes of Manchester City, Man United, Juventus, PSG, etc. have all apparently registered interest. So if by January the player has not signed on the dotted line with Barcelona, it will be interesting to see what happens with negotiations for his future. Next up, and reportedly one of Bayern Munich's targets, Karim Adeyemi, has made a decision on where his next move could be in the 
the summer. Now he has hit the headlines across Europe. He's been linked with so many different clubs as he has been brilliant for RB Salzburg so far this season. The teenager has already managed to find the back of the net 11 times and would be a brilliant prospect for any club. However, according to Sky Germany, he has whittled his options down to two. Dortmund and RB Leipzig. According to the report, the player is reportedly looking at a way to get into German football and is allegedly considering following in the footsteps of players such as Erling Haaland by making the move to Dortmund to acclimatise himself to life in the Bundesliga. And with Haaland seeming more and more likely to be departing from Dortmund in the summer, with his destination still unknown of course, Adeyemi's camp reportedly do believe that Dortmund would be a great fit for the player to get some good game time. And this is something that I can definitely agree on as not only have we seen Dortmund do it with a player like Haaland, but also with teenage star Jude Bellingham. This season alone, he's already managed almost 900 minutes of game time. And also in his first campaign last season, the player managed 46 appearances, which just shows how much Dortmund do trust their young talent. However, you cannot rule out RB Leipzig, as of course, Leipzig and Salzburg do have a very close relationship. And reportedly, the two clubs have already discussed the player. Now, another team that was linked with the player, like I say, is Bayern Munich. But according to ESPN, he could still move to Bayern Munich but just later on in his career and a move to Leipzig or Dortmund could be a perfect springboard to Bayern once players like Robert Lewandowski for example have departed. Now of course Lewandowski is only 33 years of age and if he continues as he is and if he does stay at Bayern Munich the player could be playing for at least another three seasons at this level and what this means for Adeyemi is that he would have three seasons maybe at Leipzig or Dortmund to get that Bundesliga game time that he needs to get that experience mature a little bit and then he could actually be the perfect fit for Bayern. And now we have our transfer roundup. This is where I take a look at some of the other news and transfers going on in the footballing world. And first up, Jorginho Wijnaldum has said that he is not completely happy with life at PSG. He's only been at the club four months, but has said that life under manager Mauricio Pochettino is difficult. He's only managed 11 appearances so far and reportedly his Netherlands manager Louis van Gaal is also concerned about the situation. Meanwhile, in Italy, Juventus are reportedly preparing moves in January for not only Manchester United's Donny van der Beek, but another Manchester player in Man City's Bernardo Silva. And speaking of Man United, if Jesse Lingard refuses a contract extension, the club are willing to sell the player for a cut price deal of £15 million. And finally, according to El Nacional in Spain, Chelsea are considering re-signing 30-year-old Eden Hazard, but Real Madrid would only be comfortable with the move if they get Reese James in return. So that's it for today's One Football Daily News. As always, thanks for watching. Check out all the other content that we've got here. And until next time, I will see you all later.